in the previous lecture we had discussion on Milman's theorem and uh, now we are going to solve one problem with the help of Milman's theorem and in this problem we need to find the voltage across all the branches in the below given circuit this is the circuit and we need to find voltage across the three branches we have so let us understand how to find out voltage across the three branches with the help of Milman's theorem I will call the first branch branch number one this branch the second one branch number two and this one here the third branch branch number three in the first branch we have one voltage source providing 28 volts of voltage and we have one resistor with value 4 ohms I will call this voltage E1 and this resistance R1 so voltage E1 is equal to 28 volts and R1 is equal to 4 ohms moving on to branch 2 we don't have any voltage source in this branch so I will put E2 equal to 0 volts and uh, the resistance value is equal to 2 ohm so R2 is equal to 2 ohms now moving on to the final branch branch number 3 it is having the voltage source with value 7 volts and resistance with value 1 ohm so E3 E3 it is equal to 7 volts and R3 it is equal to 1 ohm now we have everything to find out the voltage across all the three branches we have the three branches will have the same voltage across them the reason is this wire here this wire here this wire and this wire do not have any element and therefore voltage will not drop and therefore this point this point and this point will have the same potential this point this point and this point will have the same potential so this is the same potential line this is the same potential line and therefore the potential difference will be same across all the three branches and uh, we will assume the potential difference across the branches to be E and we need to find E in this question now with the help of Milman's theorem we can have E in the previous lecture we saw E is equal to summation I equal to 1 to n E i g i over summation i equal to 1 to n g i g i is the conductance and it is reciprocal of resistance and in this case we have n equal to 3 therefore e will be equal to e1 over r1 plus e2 over r2 plus e3 over r3 divided by 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 i have written e in this form because we know gi is equal to 1 over r i now we will move on to the next step in which we will put values of e1 e2 e3 r1 r2 and r3 we will have e equal to e1 over r1 which is 28 over 4 plus e2 over r2 will be 0 over 2 so we have 0 plus e3 over r3 will be 7 over 1 so we have 7 divided by 1 over r1 will be 1 over 4 plus 1 over r2 will be 1 over 2 plus 1 over r3 will be 1 over 1 so we have 1 when you simplify this you will have e equal to 8 volts this is our answer 